Hey guys, Jason Lucas here with Make and Do. I'm sure a lot of you have seen all the different DIY portable air conditioners out there on YouTube that a lot of people have designed and made. And I even did one myself last year that we used to computer fans on top of it and it was extremely quiet. It was a uh, it worked really well, but one of the problems is, is it does not it does not blow enough air. Uh, it would blow enough air to keep you cool if you're sitting there in front of it, so it worked well in that sense. But uh, a lot of people, you know, I've asked questions: Is it strong enough to cool a small room? Uh, you know, will it cool the inside of my car or a van or whatever? And uh, that one would not do it, just simply because it did not have enough airflow was the main reason. Uh, there was a couple of other things as well, and most of the coolers out there the portable air conditioners out there have that same problem. They only cool the area right in front of it. So uh, over the past year, I've played with a few different designs and I've actually come up with one that is strong enough to actually cool a small room. I tested it out in my SUV and it cooled the entire SUV down. And this is it right here. I'm gonna show you, this is, in my opinion, the best design out there. And uh, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I did to this that made it the best. First one is it's got a very powerful fan. Uh, this fan is rated at a 270 CO film, so it will move a lot of air, uh, which is very different from a lot of the others that are out there. And uh, as you can see right now, it will, uh, I've got it set up where it will run off of my cigarette lighter in my car, uh, but it's just a temporary hookup. You can also have it hooked up. You can build you some switches in here or whatever, but um, you can have it hooked up where it will run off of, of a battery, straight to a 12 volt battery. You can hook it up where it runs off of solar panels. However you want to do that, uh, you're not limited because as long as you can get 12 volts and I believe it's uh, six amps, then you can, uh, you can make it work. So that's the number one, or the first reason is that it's got a very powerful blower. The second reason that this AC works so well is the way the air moves inside of it. On the one that I did last year and, and a lot of the others that are out there, uh, the air is moved in, we would have fans on it, and the air would move in and circulate across a bed of ice and then come out the vent, which is fine. I mean, it still cools pretty good, but one of the problems of, with that is that it melts your ice really fast. Your ice is gonna last anywhere from three to five hours. Well, with this design right here, we don't move the air across the top of the ice. We actually move the air through a metal pipe that is uh, cold inside, and I will show you here. So the metal is cold inside, the ice is on top. So in doing that, your ice will last a lot longer. I've already tested this out and this ice, I've already had ice in this cooler right here for three days. So it will last a long time. So that's the second huge benefit of this is that your ice lasts a lot longer. Uh, you literally, depending on the cooler, if you use a more expensive cooler, it's gonna last even longer than three days. But you know, three days is plenty, I think, especially you know, since you can get this cooler here for like 20 or 25 bucks, whatever it is. It'll literally, I haven't tried it in a small room yet. I've only tried it in my car, but it cooled off my, and my car's an SUV, mid-size SUV. Cooled it out, no problem at all. One thing I wanna point out is that when I was testing how well it cooled, you know, I had just initially put the ice and the water in there. And uh, so I put it in my car and I wanted to see how well it cooled off. And as you can see here, the temperature uh, was ranging, you know, mid to high 50s. And keep in mind, this was immediately when I just first put the ice in. So the next day after the cooler had been sitting all night and the ice had uh, been in there and, and I guess getting colder or getting the metal pipe colder or, or whatever, but after it had set for several hours, there was still plenty of ice. And so I put it back in the car again and tried it again that morning. And you can see it's about 10 degrees even colder. It was in the like the mid to high 40s. You can see here around 46, 47. And so I think what had happened is the ice melted a little bit, it got a little more water down there, it got much colder, it made the pipe much colder. And so it looks like, or it appears that the longer it sits, you know, until your ice is gone, but the longer it sits, the colder that's gonna get and it's gonna make your air even, even colder. So I'm gonna show you in the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you uh, footage of how I actually made this. That's actually another thing that makes this cooler so great is it was super easy to build. I literally built this thing in one hour. Uh, if you don't count the time, I had to had dry time for the caulk to dry, but literally I put this thing together in an hour and you can do it too. It's, it's really quick and easy and it works amazing. So let me go and uh, show you how I built this thing.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you uh, have good luck in building yours. Like I said, it's super easy to build. I, I did this in about an hour. Uh, it won't take you long at all. And uh, like I said, I'll have uh, links in the description below in case you want to go get some of these products to build your own. And if you have any questions or whatever, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll answer it to the, the best of my ability. Good luck.